Hey, good morning. It's Tiffany with Mom Certified. Um, so the question of the day is, are you fine? Do you tell everybody you're fine? Do you say, I'm having a fine day? And when people ask, how are you feeling? You just say, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you guys know that fine is like this mask that we wear? And fine is when we really don't want to tell people how we feel or what's going on inside our body or in our head. And and people know when you say you're fine that you don't want to talk about it because we, as a culture, whenever we hear somebody say, I'm fine, our immediate instinct is to say, okay, or that's good. Because we know that fine means don't ask me for real how I'm feeling. We know that fine means, yeah, they got issues, but they don't want to talk about it, right? We also know that when people say, I'm fine, that they're not. But like I said, we don't we don't always dig into, hey, what, what can I help you with? What's really going on? Why are you just fine? Why aren't you fabulous? Why aren't you feeling great? Why aren't you having a good day? Why is it just fine? So I started reading last night um, a book uh, Glendalen, it's called Love Warrior, it just came out, um, and I actually read half of it last night, it's a memoir about a girl who went through life wearing basically two personalities, the I'm fine person who really wasn't fine, and then the person who was kind of just dying inside, and and it, it, it's got me kind of thinking this morning, because there's a lot of people, whether it's in corporate that I'm out dealing with during the day or it's people that I see in the evening or it's other things going on and and that say I'm fine and we know that fine is not okay right and I also know that I used to say when people would say well how are you I'm fine and it meant that I was tired that my stomach hurt that my colon was spasming that it wasn't fine but I didn't want to talk about it and so that's why I know that's what it means for so many people because I was one of those people um and I know that Will always says, now you have to tell people what's the solution. The solution to I'm fine is finding a better way. The solution to I'm fine, if you're not the one that is saying I'm fine, but you're the one hearing it, is saying, hey, wh what's really going on? What can I help you with today? What can I do to make your day a little better, right? Maybe the I'm fine is that they don't have money for food. Maybe the I find is that they don't know how they're going to make their car payment or they don't even know how they're going to make their mortgage or their rent, right? And maybe the I'm fine is that somebody's got some serious diagnosis that they're not ready to share yet. But until you actually, like, don't poke and prod them, but ask them, like, what can I do to make it better? Do you just want to talk? Do you want to just go have a cup of coffee and just sit in silence? Because sometimes people don't want to talk. They just want to be around other people. Um, can I pray for you is another great thing to ask somebody that says I'm fine and somebody may say yes and then my immediate next response is is there anything specific and a lot of people will say no just pray which is fine but if you don't know what to specifically pray for then just pray for them pray for their strength pray for their health pray for their well-being pray for you know just pray for them in general and their family if they give you specifics then pray for the specifics it's raining um if you're one of the people that lo that are the ones saying, I'm fine, and you're not really fine, maybe you have stomach cramps, maybe you've got some serious disease that you don't want to tell people about, maybe you've got money issues, um, I work with a whole bunch of people that we'd love to help you, um, from financial planning and people doing budgeting at workshops to church groups to prayer warriors to whatever it is, there's somebody in my network that can probably help you. Um, so don't walk around life just saying I'm fine. And if it's something you're looking for in health, if it's something you're looking for in your diet, if it's something you're looking for just to feel better when you wake up in the morning, call me. I still have room in the 40 women program this year. Um, they started Monday. You wouldn't be that far behind at all. You could start the following Monday. It'll all work out for you. If you need further coaching and you need somebody to say, hey, I'm holding you accountable. Hey, you can text me when you're falling down. You can tell me what you need prayed for. I can do that with you too as well. And we can talk about a different type of program for you. And if you just need assistance any other way, I want you guys to know that we're here for you. Um, my family loves to pray for people. Uh, I can put you on prayer list. Um, like I said, if you need financial coaching, uh, if you want a female coach or a male coach, I can help you there because I know people that do that. If you need something larger and you don't even know where to turn, the universe and God has an answer. You just have to ask. And I will tell you, and until you actually ask, the answer is always no. So, a good example of this is I had a lady who we know was gluten-free at Frankie's school. 
um, who's been doing a great job. She looks fabulous. She's working on it because of some autoimmune conditions and just some health reasons. And it's one of those people that's not going to talk about it, right? But I know she's gluten-free because every time I bring stuff in, she's excited. And um, she emailed me yesterday and she goes, I have no idea, but I'm wondering if you're going to be at the Schomburg Convention. This is the power of asking. And um, if you're presenting and if you can help me find a discount for a ticket, and I emailed her back, and I said, yeah, I'm going to be presenting on Saturday at 3 o'clock. If you can come Saturday, I can get you a ticket. And it's just that simple power of asking. Now, it's not about giving everybody a free ticket to a conference, but it's about people stepping forward, not knowing what the answer is going to be, and saying, hey, can you help? And I'd encourage you to do that today because if you're saying I'm fine, you're not fine. We all know you're not fine. You're not going to continue to hide from it because everybody knows that it is a mask. And if you're one of those people that keep hearing I'm fine from somebody else in your life, step out of your box today and ask them what you can do to help them get out of the fine mode. All right. Have a great Tuesday. Talk to you later.